This technology integration tip focuses on how to print documents that you have some graphics or some pictures in it. As you may have already seen for you and for students, that when you print documents that have a lot of pictures or some graphics or just even a few pictures, it takes a much longer time for them to be get sent to the printer. So in order to save you time and to save your students time, when you're in a document, what you first need to do is print it to a PDF. So just like you would normally print an item, you would go to either the file ribbon or you're going to hit control P to print. And instead of choosing Konica that you see will automatically appear, you want to go through the drop down list and choose Adobe PDF. And when you choose that, you will click on print. What this does is it automatically compresses all of your pictures which needs to be done in order for the printer to be able to print it much quicker than if you would print it without being a PDF form. So it's going to ask you where to save your PDF. So oftentimes it's good to save the PDF file in the same location of which you saved the original file. So you can see your original file and the PDF. So when you click on save, it's automatically then going to compress those pictures and it's going to bring open up the PDF version. Now, from the PDF version, you want to go to print. And this time with your properties, you're going to go into your properties. And a lot of students are having trouble with this, so it's really good that you would help them. Notice that my document has color in it, so they think that in this window, this is where that they can set some of the parameters for it to be able to print in color, and it's not anything in, within this window. You need to go to the properties of the printer or the copier. And when it opens up, here's where you need to choose those options. So if I want five copies of it, or two copies, or in this case just one copy, I want it to print two-sided, or I want it stapled if it's a multiple copy. But here's where I'm going to choose auto color, or I could choose full color. If you choose full color, you'll see this window that'll pop up that includes some black pages. The printing time could be shortened by selecting full color. Uh, so you can click OK. And then you can click on print. And it automatically will compress those pictures and send it to the printer. It's going to go much faster than what you've ever experienced before, especially when students are sending down or printing brochures or um, handouts or pictures that have a a lot of different graphics. So I would say that if you have a page that you have any type of graphics or pictures on, print it to a PDF first and then send it to the Konica copiers. So it would be great if you would then transfer this and, uh, same skill set to your students in your class and let your students know the same thing so that they're able to print much faster than what we were previously. As always, if you have any questions, please let us know. Enjoy your day.